What I'm going to show you with the Nissan is idle air control valve relearn. What we have is whenever the idle air control valve has been replaced or the throttle body has been cleaned or you have anything that may be uh, affecting timing, you always want to have to do the relearn of that idle air control valve. Our scan tools are capable of that and I'm going to show you how to do it. To do that, I'm going to tap on engine module Now that we are at our test menu, let's go do the idle air volume learn. When I tap on idle air volume learn, it'll come up with a set of instructions. The first instructions is telling you when to do this particular test. You're going to do an air, idle air volume relearn if I have to replace the idle air, idle air valve. I may have to replace it because I've either had a bad one or maybe I just did a throttle body cleaning or maybe something was um, corrupting you know, timing. So as a result, I'm going to do the relearn. To do that, I'll accept the instructions and I'll tap on OK. Up comes a second page of instructions that tell you that the vehicle must be on a level surface, the steering wheel pointing straight, and I must have the engine temperature at operating temperature of about 180 degrees Fahrenheit, engine at idle, and in park with all accessories turned off. So I'm going to start the car right now. I have to reach in and, of course, apply the brake pedal on this car. I'm going to tap on OK, and up will come my database, and you'll notice you'll see it says executing. I'm executing the test right now. It'll take a few seconds for this test to perform. What's happening now is it's actually doing the idle relearn. It's looking to make sure everything's at the proper parameters. And in a moment, the test will be done. It now says the test is complete and successful. Once I'm done, I'll tap on OK, and I'll be back at my test menu. Now let's do some testing on a Toyota. We're going to use our Auto Boss. I'm going to show you how to calibrate the yaw sensor. To do that, I'll tap on the ABS module. We'll let it go to the ABS module test menu. It's now connecting to that ECU. Now to set the test menu, I'll tap on special functions. And then I'll tap on test mode. When I tap on test mode, it gives you a couple warnings. First, it tells you that the ignition key, ignition key must be on. And it tells you the steering wheel must be perfectly straight and we must be on a flat surface. Once I've done that, I'll go ahead and hit the next button. It'll go ahead and give me another set of instructions. And then I'm going to hit next and it'll start the calibration. Once the calibration is done, I'll look into the car, I'll look at the dashboard, and verify the ABS light is flashing. The ABS light is flashing. I know I've completed my calibration successfully. I'm going to show you how to do the same zero point calibration on that yaw rate sensor on the Toyota using the Pegasus. So I'll tap on special tests. Then I'll tap on other tests, and in parentheses you'll see it says four. That means there's four tests under there. When I tap on other tests, I'll then tap on zero point calibration test mode. And up comes the same set of instructions that we talked about earlier. It tells you that you're going to do the zero point calibration. I'll tap on continue. The vehicle must be on a level surface, steering wheel centered. We must make sure we're in park, which we are. Tap on continue. The key is on. I'll tap on continue again. And now it says that we are ready to do the test. When the ABS and vehicle light blinks, the calibration is complete. So let me look at the dashboard. My light's blinking. My calibration is completed. So I hit continue. And we're back to our test menu. We have completed our Toyota calibration using our Pegasus and Autoboss. Now let's go ahead and do the same calibration of the yaw rate sensor, or the zero point calibration, using our Genesis. I'm already at the ABS module, so let's go ahead and hit special tests. I'm going to scroll down to actuator tests, and then I'm going to scroll down to zero point calibration. When I press enter, up will come a first set of instructions. Again, it's telling us what we're doing, which is the yaw rate sensor calibration. I'll press enter, and then it's going to tell you that you should do memory reset, but we're going to consider that as being done already. I'll press enter. And now it tells you the vehicle must be on a level surface, steering wheel perfectly centered, the ignition key must be on, and the vehicle must be in park, 
And then I'll press continue to start the test. All right, as I go, now the test is, in, is begun. Calibration is completed by checking the dashboard to be sure the ABS light is on and flashing. We're going to go ahead and do some testing with an Audi. We're going to use our Autoboss, our Pegasus, and our Genesis to show you how to do certain things, such as controller coding, throttle body relearn or adaptation, and I'm going to show you an easy version of throttle body relearn or adaptation. It is available with the Pegasus and Genesis that makes your life much easier. Whenever doing a Volkswagen Audi, you must always refer to the shop manuals because you'll need information such as what basic setting to go to or what measuring block to go to. The measuring blocks are only available in the manuals. That is an important key factor here. And we're going to cover that because I have to set the tool to do certain things using those measuring blocks. So let's go on. The first test we're going to perform is coding. 07. So you'll go down to 07 coding. You'll touch on it and up comes a block component where I will enter in a code number. Now sometimes you may have to go to VW Audi or call them to get this passcode or this code number. And what this coding is going to do is take our controller that we've just replaced and put in the correct number so it will set it up to read either kilometers per hour, um, um, uh, you know, miles per hour, so it's set up for the United States. Otherwise, I would be setting it up for another country. So what we're going to do now is type in the number, which in this case is 16581 for this car. Once I've entered the number, I'll tap on the enter button. And it's now entering the code and it says code successfully written. So I'll tap on OK. And we'll get ready to move on to our next set of tests. And you'll notice that the code is now listed in our tool. So it's now on the controller. So let's go on and move on to our next test. And I'll hit cancel. And I'm back to my menu. Now we're going to do another test on our Audi. I'm going to show you how to do throttle adaption or throttle relearn. To do that, I'm going to go to 04 basic settings, or in this case, 04 introduction of basic settings. And then up comes that block measurement device where I have to enter my numbers. So I need my shop manual to find out what measuring blocks I would need for this particular car. Now I've already looked that up, so I'm going to type in the number 0, 6, 0 for my 2004 Audi A4 with 1.8 and I'll press enter and up comes my values I want to do the relearn on this particular vehicle or the adaption I'll hit change you're going to hear the throttle body clicking you hear it it's running the test like it says at the bottom and now it says adaption okay I'm completed with that so I'll hit the back button and we're back at our test menu Let's move on and do the same functions using the Pegasus. Let's do the same testing with our Audi using the Pegasus. All our adaptations and all of our relearns and all of the um, coding are listed under special tests. So I'm going to type on special test. When I tap on special test, up will come two menu items other tests, which is where we're going to do most of our work, and then I'm going to show you a cool feature later under engine tests, but let's tap on other tests first. When I tap on other tests, you'll notice we have the same menu that you saw with the Autoboss, but it's a little bit easier to use here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do controller coding, 07. Now once again, 07, controller coding, is completely different than what you might think. The warning screen comes up to tell you that you need to make sure that you got your shop manuals and that you've talked to a VW Audi dealer to make sure you have the correct code before you do anything. So once again, those books are your primary importance. Whenever you're working with VW Audi, you need to have those books. So now I'm going to go ahead and tap OK. And it's going to talk to the controller. It's going to set up and read the present actual code that's in there. It tells us that the correct current code is 16581, which as you saw earlier was the code for USA Domestic. But let's say that I wanted to change it for any particular reason or it was a brand new controller. Because I already pretty reprogrammed this controller using the Autoboss, so I, you know, technically I want to make sure that I have the correct one in there. 
Um, but if it was not coded, it would then be blank and it would come up to the next page. I'll hit continue. And what would come up is that actual page would be blank. So I'm going to hit the clear button. We're going to type in that number. When I type in 16581, I'm now typing in USA Domestic. Oh, excuse me, I hit the wrong number. I got to hit clear once again. I'll type in 16581. Make sure the numbers are correct. It's 16581. That's specific. It's setting this controller to USA Domestic so it reads kilometers per hour, etc. I'll tap on enter. It's now going to say, um, you know, that the code is there. That's the new value that I typed in. I want to enter that code into the controller. I'm going to hit recode. And it's now coded that and says the function's complete. So let's move on and do some other testing. I'm going to hit exit. And what I want to do now is show you how to do throttle adaption or throttle relearn. To do that, I'm going to go to basic settings 04. I'll tap on basic settings. When it I do, it comes up with a warning telling us I need to have those books. And again, those books are very important. I need to look up what my measuring block is in this case. And they can only get that from a set of books, the shop manuals. I'll press OK. Up comes that same set of entering group number. And I would have to get my group number from the book that's measuring block. And I already looked it up for this vehicle, so I know it's 060. I'll tap on 0. And you'll notice when I tap on 6, the 0 will go away. And then I'll tap on zero again, because now six appears, and you'll see the number 60. So I actually entered in 060. That's the correct method. You must enter all three digits. And I really want to emphasize that. You have to enter that zero, then the six, then the zero. Don't be concerned, because the zero will disappear the minute I hit six. I'm going to tap on enter. It's looking for that group number, setting up the tool to do the test. Now I'm going to tap on start. It's running. You hear the throttle clicking back and forth. You can see it says it's running the adaptation. And in a moment, we will be done. And the adaption ran. The adaption's okay. We are complete. Now that I'm done with that test, let me show you a much easier way to do that using the Pegasus. And later on, I'll show you how to do that again easier with the Genesis. So I'll tap on exit. I showed you how to do throttle adaption the hard way, the way you would do it using any of our competition or the Autoboss. But let me show you a much easier way where the tool will set everything up for you and it will physically do the relearn for you as well. So I'm going to tap on groups. You remember that page earlier where it says engine tests? I'm going to go to engine tests. I'll tap on that once. I now have throttle, throttle body alignment. When I tap on throttle body alignment, it will automatically set up the tire test procedure. But once again, it does tell you, go back to your shop manuals, make sure you've got everything you need. But I don't have to look up the 060 this time. The measuring block will be pre-chosen for me because the tool knows the car. It's there. So I'll tap on OK. So technically, I really don't need the book. It tells you to turn the key on, engine off. I'll tap on continue. All right. It says, and asks, is there a cable between the throttle and the throttle body? I've already checked. This is a drive-by wire. This is 100% electronic. So now I'm going to say no, because there is no cable there. As a result, it knows exactly what measuring block now. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on continue. And you notice it chose the group 60 for you. I don't have to go look it up in the book. I don't have to go enter that number, 0. Remember that entering the 0 first, then the 6, and the 0 disappears, enter 0 again. And now I'm going to tap on Start. And you'll hear the throttle kicking back and forth. It's doing it. It's running the test. You'll see it's running the test. And in a moment, it's going to say Adaptive OK. And it now says Complete Adaptive OK. So now we've completed that test. I'm going to hit Exit. And let's move on and show you the exact same things I just did using the Genesis. Now let me show you how to do some testing on the Audi using our Genesis. I'm going to scroll down to special tests and I'll press enter. When you do, up comes your test menu and you'll notice there's some slight changes to the way the menu's set up. 
Now, I'm not going to do 07 controller coding because I did that twice already, once with the Autobus and once with the Pegasus. And it's not a good idea to do it more than once. We already did it twice, so a third time is not a good idea. But we will go to basic setting, and I'm going to show you how to do the throttle body adaptation or learn. So I'm going to go down to basic setting. I'll press enter. We're at that warning screen, which tells you always go back to your shop manuals. And I need to emphasize that. You need those shop manuals. You be need to be able to look up those measuring blocks so that you can do your testing. To do that, I would get the two manuals, any type of manual that shows those. Now, I've already done that for the, this particular test. So I know that the particular measuring block I need is 060. And you'll see the difference with this tool on how to do it. So let's go ahead and press OK. When you do, up will come my group number block. And we're going to change our values. Remember, the number I'm looking for is 060. So I've got the furthest one to the right, the zero, highlighted in red. You would change that number if you had to by scrolling up or down. So I'm going to bring it back to zero. I'm going to scroll over to the next digit, which is going to be my sixth digit. You'll notice the second one's now highlighted in red. Second one from the right. I'm going to scroll up till I get to six. If I had to change my third digit, which I don't because it's already at zero, I would scroll to the right once, to the left once more, highlighting my third digit from the right, which is now zero, and I could change it up or down by scrolling up or down. So, oops, screwed up. And there we go. Now that I've got my digit 060, we want to verify that I have it there. And again, I got it from my book. I looked it up in my book. I'll press enter. Up will load my data. Once I'm ready to go, I'll press the start button. As I press the start button, you'll hear my throttle clicking. Hear it? It now says the adaption is running. In a moment, it'll say the adaption's OK, which means our test is completed. So I'm now going to hit exit. And let me show you how to do that a little bit easier. Once again, just like on the Pegasus, I have throttle body alignment at the bottom here. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Once again, when I do that, I won't have to go look up my numbers. It will automatically choose those for me. However, it's going to give me the warning because I want to always go back to the book to make sure on how to do this procedure. Even though I know the number or even though you know it will set up the number for you automatically, you still want to refer to that book to understand how the procedure works. So I'll press OK. It'll come up in a minute with our group setting. It's now looking for that controller. It's choosing what group setting based on the controller for this vehicle for you. I don't have to look it up. It's going to pick 060 for me like I did earlier when I was at basic settings and I typed in the measuring block 060. So it tells you now, like it did on the Pegasus, turn the key on, engine off, and then press enter. When I do, it asks me if there is, just like it did on the Pegasus, if there is a cable between the throttle body and the vehicle. This is drive-by-wire. There is no throttle cable. There are no cables at all. So I'm going to say no. It'll now know which group setting I want because it's now picked it up. It again refers you back to the book so that you can verify everything. I'll press enter to begin the test. It starts the test. Now I'm ready to go, so I'll press yes to start the test because it asked me up front to press start to begin. So I'll press yes. You hear the throttle clicking back and forth. It says adaptive is running. And in a moment, it'll say adaptive is OK. So now I've completed that test. I'll tap on exit. I'll be back at my test menu. I've showed you now with Audi, also VW being the same thing, how to do basic setting, throttle adaption, or throttle relearn, and then how to do throttle alignment, and also how to do controller coding. 04 for basic setting, where I had to go in and set my measuring block 060 to physically do the actual throttle relearn or throttle adaption. Then I showed you how to do controller coding to set the controller for um, USA by going to 07 controller coding and then typing in the controller code number, which in this case was 16581. And then I showed you how to do throttle body alignment using the Autoboss, the Pegasus, and the Genesis. But I always told you, and you need to make sure you do this, refer back to those books. So now we're going to move on and do some testing with a Ford.